authentically. Since the dawn of philosophy, thinkers have posed questions such as, does this plank exist? Or, does God exist? But 20th century philosopher Martin Heidegger thought that before questioning whether something exists, we must first ask, what is the meaning of being? In his notoriously difficult book, Being and Time, Heidegger introduced the concept of the human being as Dasein. Dasein is that being that stands back from everyday consciousness and recognizes its own being. Dasein asks the question, what does it mean to be? At first, however, Dasein does not distinguish himself from the world around him. He is completely immersed in it, or what Heidegger calls being in the world. But how does this relate to authenticity? Living authentically involves, in part, Dasein's understanding of itself as something that exists and potentially doesn't exist. Here's one way to think about it. We carry on with our everyday activities out of habit. We do things, but do not consciously consider that we are doing them. For example, a craftsman uses his hammer every day without thinking of it as an object independent from himself, until something goes wrong. When the hammer breaks, I come to look at it as an object that exists separately from myself. This is one way that Dasein becomes aware not only of things not being, but also the possibility of Dasein's own not being. That is, death. Living with the awareness of one's own not being is a crucial element of living authentically, because it has to do with what Heidegger calls my own most. Think about it like this. Nobody else can die my death. I cannot share it with anyone. It is mine and no one else's. You see, the authentic Dasein is constantly aware of my existence as my own, to be defined by myself and not others. The inauthentic Dasein lives lacking such awareness. When one's everyday activities are lost in the mindless grind of the public and allows one's self to be socially constructed, authenticity is lost. One becomes lost in the they. But that's not to say that one must isolate oneself in order to live authentically. Authentic living is more of an attitude, an attitude towards confronting one's own mortality, seizing one's existence, and making it one's own.